Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. It's Kate here and look what arrived in my mail yesterday. Ta-da! So these are pastel pencils from Generals and I want to say that this video has not been sponsored. I bought these pencils with my own money and I will just tell you what I think about them. So let's start opening them. It's a set of 24 pencils. Here you can see one and two. So plain cardboard box in the back here. You can find some information about the pencils and also there's like a short tutorial here. Not a fan of written tutorials to be honest. I have very good experience with the charcoal pencils by Generals so I decided to try the pastel pencils. And most importantly for me I want to see how opaque they are when working over the layer of soft pastel. Also here you can see the colors, so we're gonna do a swatch of colors. I will be using a gray sketchbook for it. Generals, pretty good quality as far as I have tried their art supplies. So let's begin. Also it comes with this little booklet with all their stuff that they produce. They have charcoal pencils as I said, which I love the white charcoal pencil. And another tutorial over here of how to draw a tree and also here are some suggestions of what you can do with graphite pencils but you're not that interested in that and here you have the whole range of soft pastel pencils and also graphite and charcoal pencils let's start looking at the colors the pencils came in a thin cardboard box as you've seen with the plastic inserts what i found interesting is that each pencil has an eraser i have never seen it on pastel pencils before this is a 24 pencil set, as I've said, and in total there are 36 colors in this range. One thing I have to say here is that I did not find any information about the light fastness of the pencils on the box nor on the website of the manufacturer. Three of the pencils were broken upon arrival, but they do sharpen quite well with the mechanical sharpener. I used the swordfish one. The two sharpeners that came with the pencils broke the lead, so I am not going to be using them as I prefer my trusty old mechanical sharpener. About the pencils now. The pencils blend nicely, especially the very rich black that is very opaque and layers very well. There are though some colors that have these little bits of pigment in them that differ slightly from the color and not only in color but also in value. I found these colors to be three in this set and when applied to paper, these particles do not blend out and it might ruin your work. So the three pencils that I have uh, with these particles, I will not be using them in my work. The pencils themselves are quite hard and hold the point well, but the colors are definitely not something you could use as a starter set. There are two grays, which both are warm. So if I were to create my own set of pencils, definitely one would have to be cool. And yes, five, five oranges. That is quite a lot of orange. I am not sure where one would use all of them. The two darker greens are so similar in color and value that it is really quite difficult to tell them apart. The same goes for the reds. The two reds are very similar too. What is truly lacking in this set is the dark colors, but mostly with pastels, it's the dark colors that are always not enough. So I never have enough of dark colors. I found that to get somewhat acceptable value range, you will have to add black to any given color with these pencils, and that is going to take away the saturation of that color and make it look duller. But this is my pastel background speaking, as I am used to working in SAF pastels and only use pencils for details during the finishing touches, so I'm quite picky with my pastels as well. Overall, I am very happy with the white and the black pencils. They are quite opaque and will definitely be used in my work. As for the other colors, I will have to use them to see how they behave in combination with soft pastels. So I will try to do another review in a while. I did get these pencils as a Black Friday sale offer, so I spent about 17 euros here in Italy, and that makes it less than 2 euros per pencil, so not such a bad investment. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to see how thin I can actually get my lines and I have a pencil sharpened here so let's test the thickness of lines and you can get actually pretty thin lines with these pencils 
so they do what was written on the packaging that they are quite hard for you to actually be able to create these very thin marks and if you want to make bolder strokes you can do that it won't break so now I want to do another test so for me I use pencils to actually add as an addition to my pastels so I want to cover an area with pastels and this is a unison so I want to add three different layers of pastel from very thin just a veil of color this is just an ordinary kind of paper that actually has quite a good grip with pastel and this is the medium coverage of the paper so it's not oversaturated and here I will add quite a lot of pastel just to see if the pencil is able to cover that area that is quite saturated with pastel so you can see the difference here here the paper shines through here it slightly shines through and here it's quite saturated and the tooth is almost full so I will be testing a couple of different colors so let's start with the white so let's see how it behaves on the pastel so here I quite like it you can clearly see the white and the paper accepts it well and it shows up on this light blue so let's do it on the layer which is slightly saturated so here also I really like how it behaves and if we make a bolder mark there we go so it works and let's see here and this is actually fantastic so this is one of the reasons why I bought these pencils because they have this covering ability even though that they feel quite hard and they don't lose their tip as fast as some other pencils they still manage to cover this so let's test the black one so again this is beautiful like wow <laughs> I'm really surprised at these pastels as I said already the black one feels really rich and look at that you can get really thin marks depending on the pressure and you can get the true color of the pencil on the layer of pastel and this is actually amazing here there's a lot of pastel here on top so let's try another color let's say let's try an orange so the orange one already behaves slightly worse than the white one let's see here but still really good you can really see it Let's apply more pressure and here you can see that it digs into the layer of the pastel and it kind of mixes in together with the pastel but still black and white are amazing. So let's compare different brands of pencils to my new Generals pencils. So this is Generals and this is quite a thick layer of pastel. This is Faber-Castell. This is Stabilo, so this behaves the worst on the layer of pastels. This is Jaconda, it's actually a white chalk one, it's similar to the pastel pencils. Also Stabilo and Jaconda are not doing good. And this is Conte, so it slightly covers more, but yeah, these three. So in the top leading position are Generals. And this is Faber-Castell. So let's see the black ones. So I have my black Generals pencil here. This is just like, this black one is amazing. This is quite a heavy um, pastel layer here. And let's see Stabilo next to it. So if we put a bit more pressure here. Okay, this is Conte. The black ones are quite good in all of them. And this is Gioconda. Yeah, I wouldn't say that there's a huge difference between the black ones. And this is Faber-Castell. And this one is the driest one of the lot, I would say. So definitely, when it comes to the whites, generals are a lot more opaque. So let's do it again. 
So we have Generals and Faber-Castell. Let's see. So rubbing it in, applying as much pastel as I actually can until the tooth of the paper accepts it. Okay, let's see. So, to start with the fiber castile. So here they are already becoming less opaque. And let's try generals. So yeah, I would say I'm actually surprised that fiber castile manages to cover the layer of pastel as well as these generals so that's a thing to know so that was a good experiment and now let's pass on to the next part of the review so I want to sketch a simple sphere we'll do also an apple but I just want to see how the pencils behave on the paper without pastels. I rarely use pencils um, on their own, just for the sake of experiment. So I want to see how well they blend. So basically, if you look at pencils, what they are is basically a hard pastel encased in wood. So they blend quite nice. So let's see how they raise. Yeah, that's very nice. So the white one doesn't blend out as well as the black one does. It's a lot drier, but can still get a sort of transition. Definitely the black one blends out better than the white one. So let's try another little sketch and I just want to draw uh, kind of imaginary apple. Can't clearly see with this color. So I'm going to take a slightly darker one. So I'm just sketching out. This is just an imaginary apple that I have imagined in my head. Okay, so. I'm going to be using a couple of colors and using only the pencils. So let's see how it does. Let's try applying it on the side. There's not a huge selection of colors here, so I will not be doing any um, nuances or anything anything difficult, just a simple sketch just to see how the pencils behave. And let's try to blend this out and this is that grass green 4407. So let's see how it blends out. Okay, so let's apply the next color is this this um, sap green 4435 and a half. Actually, when they're mixed, they're quite lovely together. So I'm just using it on the side, very similar to how I use my pastels. And this is a uh, 44112 Canary Yellow. So this dark green is not dark enough for my liking. So I need something darker, so I'm going to go through the colors here, and 
Mm -hmm. This is two violets, so they're quite bright, the colors. Let's see this green. If it gives us any more darkness. So this is the 4461, but I think it's very similar to the screen that we were using already. So I think I'm going to use a bit of black just to give it a kick, just to darken things up a bit, which is going to make our apple look a bit unappetizing, but let's try to mix the two and also here. just to give it some depth. I'm going to use again this darker green here just to curve the apple round. So some of this black here just to darken it up because I don't like how light it looks. Okay, I'm gonna add a bit of this lighter green here to mix in with this darker green to create that reflected light. <laughs> kind of a curved apple that <laughs> came out to be. Let's move this stock bit a bit over here. Okay. So, 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 so we need a brown. Let's see this reddish brown for the stock. Like so, and let's add a bit of shadow to it with the black. And here I'm gonna correct the shape of my apple. I don't like how it's standing. Okay. So there we go, and I think I'm lacking a bit of this intensity of color here. So let's layer more of this green. Okay, and we can even add white to give it a bit of a highlight here. So here doesn't layer very well, the white, it's strange because it manages to go over soft pastel and here, okay. And I need to darken up this part that's turned away from light as well. Okay, and we need a shadow, so the shadow, let's make it reddish, gray. So I'm using, this is a 4429 sanguine color as a base layer for my shadow. Here I'm gonna add the black one and let's see how that goes. The black one is really fantastic. I really love this black. And blending it in here. Some of the darker green here to correct the shape. Okay, and let's add something gray to tone down this redness. Just a hint of these greens into the shadow, just to show the reflection of the light, of the, of the color of the apple. And Let's 
let's try to brighten up this highlight as much as we can. Okay, so there we go. This is just a simple sketch of an apple. Let's see if we manage to make it brighter. So I'm using a red as it's a complementary color to our green just to make the apple stand out a bit more. And just to correct the shape. And I think we're done here. I hope you enjoyed this little review and if you did, don't forget to subscribe and like the channel and also do check out my Patreon for more tutorials and classes and more interesting info there. You can find the links in the description. Thank you. Bye.